Hey there. Um, people ask all the time how, how to use this website to really get effective use of um, the virtual tours. As you can see, I'm currently in our RV. We're in a Class C. I'm, in, I'm sitting in a parking lot here at a trampoline park. We just wore out the kids. Um, we're traveling in December for trade shows. I'm heading up to Pennsylvania, currently in Illinois, heading into Indiana. And I know that we have state parks in Indiana. And I also know that the Indiana state parks are open for um, all year long, most of them are. And so the park I found was Summit Lake. I found this earlier, State Park. Um, now, I, I qualified that I found it earlier. I didn't have a chance to actually look at it yet. So we're going to be arriving there well into dark, probably about 8 or 9 p.m. tonight. So it will be dark. So first thing I did is I logged into my account. You can see it up here. I'm logged in. I'm going to go ahead and turn on, off my camera so I'm out of the way. And I did the search for that park. It came up here. Is that Summit Lake State Park? I am, again, logged into the account. When I hit into the park a virtual tour load so we do have a virtual tour of this park i am currently recording this and loading this off of a um, tethered smartphone that's utilizing a 4g connection so here's the virtual tour um, of this campground the first thing i do is hit play to get rid of the, the primary play button and then i'm going to hit pause and then i'm going to pull up this overhead map i want to get a general layout an idea of what this park looks like and what it looks like is we've got a primary road to enter in loops around and then there's some loops down here on the end so this video itself is nine minutes long i won't record the whole nine minutes i'll actually show you how i find sites really quickly using this tool so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hit play now or that's a, what is it that's the third thing i want to do is i'm gonna hit play and we're gonna just take a look at this property so the first thing you will notice and we all notice it's right as we're rolling into the state park is it's wide open this is actually a really good spot for me to be arriving after dark because i can easily pull in and not worry too much about hitting a tree on the way in there right it's very easy to see so as we come up to these first sites you can see those sites um easy back ends nice and wide nice and large i do know from their website that they have um electric utilities at these but if i didn't know that i could actually pause i just hit pause at this site click this little marker here and it pops up information. This information actually comes from their reservation engine. Um, in this case, this has a 20, 30, 50 amp electric hookup. The site's 70 feet long. You can even see that visually. That That's about a 35 foot RV, 30, 35 foot with a Jeep in front of it and still plenty of room out front. Smartly angled. It does have electricity. And um, if I want to click that, click and book that site, I'll show you how that works. What I'm looking for here is I, I knew I, I already was on their reservation site and like everything's open. It's December 1st. It's not like folks are camping in Indiana on December 1st. We're just on our way somewhere. Um, and so what I'm looking for is I wanted to get a real good visual of potentially a good site. I don't mind those sites right there. In fact, these sites would be easy because here's a road that's going to allow me to loop right out um, to leave. But what I'm looking for is I want to see, I know there's a lake here, so I'm wondering if there's any sites that have lake front. Oh wait, what's this site here? Look at this. Let's pause right here. This site has a concrete patio. I bet you that's an ADA site. Site 13, let's click visit. So when I click visit, I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna be dropped into the reservation engine, which is site 13. I am at that site. Yeah, it's a handicapped site. So now what I know generally speaking with public parks is being a handicapped site, um, I'm not likely able to take it. I'm a number. No one in your party meets those dead. Yeah, so we're gonna select a different site. Um, in case somebody shows up with a wheelchair and we don't wanna be taking up their spot. So that was that concrete path. And I'm cruising through here. I just want to see the general view. Um, obviously, the leaves will be down when we arrive there. There won't be any leaves on the trees. But as we can quickly see, this park has uh, some pretty views. It actually looks like we're getting closer to a lake. I kind of have a feeling we're heading in towards a lake. So now, if I want to jump ahead, I can just go down here with my mouse and click on the progress bar and jump further up. And this is just a quick way to jump around the campground here. This area you can see is more shaded. We've got more trees. Um, I wouldn't mind that if I'm arriving there during the day, but because I'll be arriving at night, I won't, I'm not going to pick one of these sites unless they're absolutely awesome. But if I did, I would now see how to approach it, and I'll be very confident to pull into it. But let's see where we at. Okay, there's the boat ramp right there. So there's the lake. Um, I'm going to hit pause right here. So there's our lake. There's the boat ramp. Let's see where we're at within the campground. Pulling the overhead map. We're right here on this loop. Oh no, now I'm gonna want to actually. So let's see, this is on the lake and the lake goes there. I'm actually gonna click over here at the end of this loop. So what I'm gonna do is click on that blue marker there and I'm gonna jump to that space, site 96. Look at that. That's the spot I want, site 96. How big is it? It's not very big. Max RV length 30 feet. That's how long my RV is so I can fit in that spot. Um, 
easy peasy, and that's site number 96. So I like 96. I'm going to hit play, continue on here. I like 97. I think that's what that was. Let's go ahead and pause. 97, 98. All these look good. They all back up towards that lake. Great thing about this time of year is there's not going to be any mosquitoes, so I don't have to worry about those. Oh, I think that's the spot right there. Look, at that's a bigger site. Although, you notice the, the slant. That's actually got a really good grade to it. I don't want to have to level up. Let me see. I don't want to level up on that side. Let's pull forward a little bit further. And again, you're seeing this just as... This is the first time I've ever seen this campground. So I'm in the same boat as you. I don't like that one. Let's go back to 96. So if I want to jump really quickly, I'm going to type this up. Type in 96. Click on it, and I'm going to jump back to that site 96. Site 96 looks pretty darn level, doesn't it? I mean, if you notice that travel trailer, he's got it down a little bit. So that one, and he's back in the site. So I'll probably have to block the rear wheels up a little bit, but I like those sites. So let's go ahead and try to book site 96. So our arrival date is today, December 1st. Like this day is one day. Let's check and see if that site's available. It's a walk. Oh, okay, so we're here now. It's a walk-in only, so I'm not going to be able to do advanced reservation on it. Um, find next to create. Yeah, so it's W being a walk up. Um, yeah, oh, I checked this yesterday. They must not take reservations. Or maybe December 1st it went into reservation only. All right. Well, so let's walk up. So we'll find out. We now know that we're going to night sites 96, 97, 98, right there on that loop. I know how to get there. In fact, in fact I won't take you all through it, but I'm actually going to back up here real fast. And I'm going to see how to get to that site by just watching this video as it plays. I'm using my mouse to look around. Here's a road. Okay, so there's a road. Let's pause real fast, see which way we're going to go. We're going to go around that corner. Okay. Yeah, so if we... Let me pause real fast. So I'm going to come straight down that road. I'm not doing that loop. So there, there are two loops. I'm not going to go down that loop. I'm going to go straight down this road into the trees and go towards site 96, 97, 98. And you can see our, our, uh, the videographer that captured this um, sped up for us to get to those sites a little bit quicker. And he's motoring down the road here to this area. Um, you're welcome to jump off if, you see, if you're if you good enough, but you can see how I've used this tool to completely explore a camper and get a real feel for a place I've never been. Um, great place. It's been a nice, nice state park. Come on. There's a playground there. Hey, there's a playground there. A yeah, there's a playground. It's got a big swing and a slide and everything. That looks good. Yeah, you don't care. Yeah, we can play with that tomorrow morning when we get up. Yeah. Nice, nice looking place. Obviously, it'll be less tree, less bushes when we arrive. What? Yeah, I like this section. Actually, you know what? I I didn't check. Let me check really fast. Did ninety six have um hookups? I'm at five oh nine. We'll jump back to that. It did have hookups. Okay. Let's jump back to 509. And again, you're seeing this. This is a, just a 4G connection off my phone, so it's pretty darn good. Okay, let's continue on. Here we are back where we're at. We'll use the play button and continue into this campground. There's over 2,100 campgrounds and RV parks across the country where we have these virtual tours. Um, the whole purpose is exactly what you're experiencing right here. Um, we built a tool that we use. Um, we're currently on the road heading to some trade shows uh, to meet campground and RV park owners and share this technology with them. And we use this technology on the road. As you can see, the power of this is unbelievable. I mean, again, I'm arriving here late tonight. I have no idea what I'm going into. Now, I'm literally driving down the road to the sites that I will be at. Nothing like this. And the great thing about the video format is I don't have to click little buttons to jump like you are you would in Google Street View. So it's very quick to travel through and see the spot. Okay, so that's easy. We're going to be straight into that spot. Ooh, that's even a better site. What site is that? It's a pull through. Site 89 there on the left. Did they have electric? It does have electric. Yeah, that's a good spot. Let me back up a little bit of that and take a look at that. Yeah, so I got that tree to go around, but I'll easily be able to swing right there and pull right into that spot. And that looks really level, too. I think we're going to do that one, actually. So let's go around to the corner here 
keep our eye on that site, 89, or even this one here. I think it's backwards on that site. Either of those pull throughs and left. So that's what we'll do is we'll do those pull throughs and left. But let's see the exit on them on the other side here, real fast. I mean, I like those water side sites, but I like the pull through better because that'll be easier. And that looks really level over there, too. So there's the back side of that site. And I would pull out here. I have plenty of room to do that. And plenty of room to do that. All right. Yep. Yeah, so we know where we're going now. So that's how you use the campground virtual tours to take a look at a campground. Um, it's December 1st, 2023. I'll be staying at Summit Lake State Park in Indiana thanks to this campground virtual tour. Have a good day.